160 kilometre journey from the capital of South Sudan to the town of Ye in the southwest of the country should take no more than a couple of hours. But war and weather have damaged the main route from Juba so badly that it has been largely impassable for months. It's not just the roads that have been washed away in the torrential downpours during the rainy season, but also important infrastructure, making it impossible for motorists, including traders, to travel safely. Many of those attempting the journey have ended up stranded for days at a time, creating further blockages with their vehicles and putting their lives at risk, with a spate of armed robberies along the road in recent months. One teacher trying to return to Ye from a Ugandan refugee camp where he lives with his wife and six children was stuck on the road for three days until peacekeepers serving with the United Nations mission in South Sudan arrived. They assist us three times, let me say, pulling our truck when it's stuck and together we move with them. So we are now with them at the Loka and we are pushing to Ye. We don't know whether we shall reach, but anyway, hopefully we shall reach Ye today. UN peacekeeping patrols have experienced the same difficulty, trying to extend their protective presence into a region that has experienced ongoing conflict and human rights violations. The big problem is the road situation is very challenging and very challenging. Last time, uh, before two, maybe not more than two months, we have been in Mvolo for four days, but we have spent nine days in the road because of the road situations. And the same for the mission of one day to Damaiza, as uh, we have spent three days. And, and the road situation is very, very bad, and it's very really suffering, especially for those trucks, big, big trucks, especially APCs, and it's still. The, rain, the rainy season is very bad for such uh, convoys. Despite the weather, these Ethiopian troops are making another push down the road to map the trouble spots so that their engineers can make the repairs needed to get local traffic moving again. Uh, until now we are not yet uh, faced some big problems. We are managing by pulling uh, the trucks stacking on the road by other recovery trucks and even the problem is because of the mud and the depths we cannot uh, estimate it and the APCs are wider and just cannot be uh, managed by the drivers uh, even though we are still on the right position and if God wills uh, we may arrive at uh, yay or not, I don't know. It is tough going with large vehicles and armoured personnel carriers struggling to make it through, let alone smaller UN vehicles. But with perseverance and plenty of encouragement, they are successful. UN civilian staff travelling on the patrol to monitor human rights and support the peace process in Ye hope that the increased peacekeeping presence will encourage those who fled the area to return. This place was inhabited, but now it is no longer inhabited. But the UNMIS patrols um, enable people to, the citizens, to feel at least a little bit more secure. And um, we are told that they are coming back to this area. Uh, obviously the rains make it a little bit more difficult for them to, to come back, but hopefully as the rains recede, this will become more and more evident. With the dry season comes fresh hope for the communities along this road as increased security and safer travel creates new opportunities to return to their homes.